you're looking at the nation's oldest city, St. Augustine, Florida. Since 1565, the oldest continually occupied European settlement in the continental United States. It is here, across from the Plaza de la Constitución through the arch on Avalé Street, in the heart of the historic district, that you will discover the early roots of Spanish medicine at the Spanish Military Hospital Museum. Originally known as the Hospital of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the present-day structure on the exact location is a recreation of the original. In this day and age, laser medicine, organ transplants, and hip replacements are an everyday occurrence, but what was it like, I mean really like, only a couple of hundred years ago? Here's a sneak peek. The Spanish Military Hospital functioned from 1784 to 1821. We're in the surgeon's office right now, but surgeries would have been done outside, because that's where you have your best light. But a surgeon couldn't specialize. He had to learn to be a dentist. This is a tooth key. He had to be a brain surgeon, right here. And amputation was the most common procedure. You take a tourniquet like this, cut off all the blood supply. Then using a large bone knife like this, we'll cut down to the bone. And then the tissue retractor, this guy here, would pull away all the flesh away from the bone, and then with the bone saw, we'll saw it off. And this was all done without anesthesia. And this is the ward. It featured very strict regulations that needed to be followed on a daily basis. Beds were assigned according to injury. Invalids were relegated to the corner beds with the chamber pot in the middle. You're looking at the apothecary's office. In this room is where the doctors of the Spanish military hospital used to mix all the potions and medicines they used to give to their patients. Many of the herbs that they used to make the medicines here in the hospital were actually grown right outside in the back in the garden. The morning room was generally the last resting place for the injured. As a soldier's health deteriorated, he would be moved to this room. The morning bell would be sounded to summon the priest, who would then administer the last rites. The carpenter would come in next and a coffin would be built for the individual, right here in this room. Burials generally took place within 24 hours. The Spanish Military Hospital is one of many wonderful historic attractions in St. Augustine, all awaiting your discovery. Log on to our website if you like, www.ancientcitytours.net, and let us know your requirements. Or you can call Ancient City Tours, 1-800-597-7177. Thank you for calling Ancient City Tours. This is Kara. How may I help you? Let us arrange your visit. Let us plan your itinerary. From a single day to a week or more, we will be happy to accommodate your wishes and see to it that your St. Augustine experience is thoroughly enjoyable. Ancient City Tours, your personal connection to enjoyment in the nation's oldest city.